Hey everyone, and welcome back to the channel. Today I have something a little different for you. It's some new tech being deployed in the drone industry. If you're a subscriber to the channel, you already know that I fly both the DJI Spark and the DJI Mavic Air. But recently I saw a new product being launched. It's a new autonomous drone called this Skydio R1. The Skydio R1 has 13 separate cameras on it and it sees in every direction. It has three separate camera sensors in front alone. I guess you could think of the R1 as more of a flying action cam than a drone in the traditional sense. And this product was built by a team of former MIT engineers, and it certainly takes object avoidance and navigation systems to a whole new level. The 13 sensors are used to map out the environment around it and avoid obstacles. It uses a 256 core NVIDIA TX1 graphics processing unit, which is the same processor found in self-driving cars. The Skydio R1 drone comes with a single 4K 30 frame per second gimbal stabilized camera, in addition to the 12 cameras used for autonomous flying. And you can and it can be flown right from your smartphone as as an autonomous flying drone using their Skydio app. Uh, for more information, I'll put up a, a, set, a spec sheet here and you can check out all the details of this unique drone. It maps and understands its environment and appears to be uh, super simple to use, which makes it very easy to fly and allow you to actually enjoy the activity you're performing without worrying about flying and monitoring the drone itself. This drone is fully autonomous versus what they call pilot assisted, which means once you launch it, you, can re you really don't have to manage it from a controller or your smartphone. Just launch it and forget about it. I think that's the big selling point of this drone. This drone also comes with predictive software built into it, which is reported to be four seconds ahead and anticipates your movements. In other words, it predicts what you're going to do four seconds into the future instead of just being, a react, uh, being reactive to your movements. This appears to be a very interesting product, but I think the price tag of $2,499 will be a bit much for many of the casual flyers. I also understand it does not work over water because of the artificial, intel the artificial intelligence can't figure out how to navigate the constantly shifting features of water surfaces, lake surfaces, and the R1's not waterproof. The battery life's approximately 16 minutes and memory is 64 gig. Um, and not expandable. I'll put the link to the Skydio R1 website below if you want to check them out and get some more detail. Uh, as of this video, their website indicates the Skydio R1 is a frontier edition, is what they're calling it. We'll begin shipping in three to five weeks. Um, I personally can't afford this product, but if Skydio would like to send me one of their demos, uh, I'd be more than happy to check it out. <laughs> okay, uh, my personal thoughts on this drone. Because the Skydio R1 is a fully autonomous drone, I don't think it will have a, my personal opinion, huge impact on the DJI product line. I see the Skydio R1 as having a place for shooting video in a more complex and harsh type environment where the subjects are making a lot of movement and the terrain's more complex. But because of the limited pilot involvement, I don't see this product model, the Frontier Edition, being able to shoot video and still photos in direct competition with DJI's product line. Uh, if you follow my channel, you know I recently bought the DJI Mavic Air and it takes some awesome video uh, and pictures as well. Um, if you haven't checked out some of the videos, I'll put a link here, you can check them out. And that being said, the Skydio R1 doesn't have the depth and the range of camera settings as found in some of the DJI products. For example, to get the right exposure and lighting, um, there's certain a certain level of manual pilot assistance and interaction needed. And in short, I've seen some of the video coming out of the R1, some early releases out on the internet there, and it just doesn't seem to compete with what DJI is doing. Though it will be interesting to see how the Skydio technology perhaps seeps into some of what DJI is doing in their own product line. The R1 drone uses cameras rather than GPS to generate navigational information in real time versus what DJI does with active track technology, which still requires GP a GPS signal. This is interesting because the R1 can perform at a top speed of 25 miles an hour, which is slower than most DJI drones, but will be fast enough to keep up with runners and most bikers. 
The average skier or snowboarder cruising down the mountain at about 10 to 20 miles per hour, but in professional level events, the speeds are much higher, so certainly the R1 won't be able to keep up. I could certainly see the R1 being a great deal of fun to test while skiing or snowboarding, but the main problem here is nearly all the ski and snowboarding resorts that I know of prohibit the use of drones at their facilities. I checked a couple of the, the policies at a couple different locations and a, a few resorts and couldn't find any that actually allowed drone use without prior written authorization uh, from the resort. And we all know how that goes. Yeah, that's not gonna happen. Um, the R1 is certainly an interesting product, but I don't see it serving my needs at this time, especially in light of the fact that its actual video output quality appears to need some further refinement. I think DJI still clearly has the, the and, and will continue to have the lion's share of the consumer drone market for some time. And that's it for now. If you've been enjoying this channel, I hope you'll think about subscribing. And if you're already an active subscriber, I do thank you. Until next time, happy flying.